spreadsheets better have all the numbers that I asked for in there by tomorrow morning. I don't care about your personal life. It's not my problem, Tiffany. It's not my responsibility. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Be careful, please, please, please. This is all I have. It's not my fault. Your stuff's all over the sidewalk. Oh, come on, lady. Look, this is my art. This is what I have. Please be careful. Please. I don't have any money, okay? I have to go. Sorry. Are you still there? What? Nobody. Oh, I'll man. To my desk by tomorrow morning or start looking for another job. Merry Christmas. He just sat there. I had to pick up everything myself. Well, the city isn't doing its part to clean them off the streets either. Well, it's not just the men, you know. Entire families have been thrown out into the streets ever since the world economy blew up. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's change the topic into something a little more festive, shall we? I want to first thank everyone for coming today. And I want to know what you're grateful for this holiday season. And I don't mean those <clears throat> Christmas bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so let's start with um, you. To my ex-wife who left me for someone younger and now realizes she would have been better off if she would have just stayed with me. <laughs> I told you to start taking this little blue pill six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> to my boss who as of this morning promoted me from managing director to senior VP of acquisitions. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you. Wow, yeah, that's great. Congratulations. Yeah, it's a big deal. Really, it is. I think you just doubled your Christmas bonus, but. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Uh, Christine. Uh, to my assistant, who even though she knows a hell of a lot more than I did at her age. Better have that report tomorrow morning or she's going to get a lot longer Christmas vacation than she expected. My daughter knows more than you now and she's eight. <laughs> Got news for you, Brad. Better take that paternity test. She's not your daughter. Oh. And Maria, our lovely hostess extraordinaire. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful that we found each other, and I'm grateful that we've remained friends through all, all these years. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I finally got them. I don't care how much they cost. Oh, I could not resist. Well, they are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Which reminds me, I wanted to show you my locket. It... What? It's, it's gone. Oh my God. I can't 
believe it, I was gonna wear it for New Year's Eve. She probably should have had a double clasp on it if it was that valuable. How much do you think she can get from the insurance company? I don't know. You should check Maria's pockets first. Jerk. <clears throat> Why? Where are you going? Reason? You have a beautiful family. What's your name? It's John. John Riley. John, I'm Christine. Let me give you something. I didn't come for a handout. I anything from you. No, John. I want to give you something. I'm serious about getting these to a gallery. I will definitely make some phone calls for you, John. Well, how much do you want for this one? I know a guy at work who's talking about getting something really special for his wife. Ooh. I want this one for myself. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, that is amazing. Oh, Don't you guys think this would look good in the corner over there? Look better in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would definitely like it.